Hey guys, thank you for joining me and welcome back. So today I'm going to use this backsplash panel today to create some beautiful home decor for you. So this is one of two projects that I'll be doing today. And so I'm going to start with this backsplash, which is a peel and stick aluminum wall tile. And this is some of the things you can use it for. You can use it in your bathroom, you can use it in your kitchen, and you can use it to create art. So this is aluminum and as you can see, the design sort of looks like a chessboard or a checkerboard. So I'm just going to take the paper off, clean it up a little bit, and I'm going to begin. So what I'm going to do right now is kind of section it off into three separate sections. I'm going to create a candle vase and or a flower vase. I'm just going to use my utility cutter and I'm going to separate into three separate sections. I'm going to create two vessels that are going to look exactly the same. One is going to be smaller than the other. Because the panels are very flexible, it's going to be very easy for me to fold this into my desired shape to create the container. So I'm just going to fold this over as you see me doing now. And I'm going to hold this together with a little bit of hot glue. And I'm also going to be using a popsicle stick. So first I'm going to run the glue down the center seam. I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. So now I'm going to take a little bit of this silver duct tape and I'm just going to apply that in the center of the larger container. After I do that, I'm going to apply a little bit of hot glue to a popsicle stick and I'm going to place that in the center of the seam. So this is going to give it more stability and it won't fall apart. So now with the single panel that was left over, I'm just going to cut away enough just to cover the top. And I'm going to do exactly the same to the smaller one. So now that that's done, I'm going to be using this bling wrap that you see here. I picked this up from Amazon. This is self adhesive and I'm just going to cut it down into smaller sections just to cover the raw edges, the corners and the top of both of my bases. So now that that's finished, I'm going to begin on the larger one and I'm going to finish that off camera. So here they both go. They look a little different in design, but they still complement each other. So now what I'm going to do is take this beautiful candlestick holder that I picked up from my thrift store. And normally I would apply my Aileen's The Ultimate or Mixed Media, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to adhere them with some hot glue and I'm just going to apply that in the center. If you want, you can use a stronger adhesive, but for this project, guys, I'm just going to use the hot glue. And this is the finished product, guys. It came out really, really nice. The candles look really beautiful on it, and the smaller container does look beautiful as a flower vase, as well as the tall one. I really love the way this came out. Okay guys, I'm going to be using these foam eggs that I picked up from my craft store. I'm gonna take this blue one and I'm going to insert a skewer into it. I'm going to use the skewer as a handle and also it'll be able to dry standing up. I'm gonna apply a little bit of my Aileen's Tacky Glue and I'm just going to spread that all over the egg Next, I'm going to just dip it into this silver glitter. This is extra fine glitter that I picked up from Amazon. I'm gonna twirl that in there, make sure it's completely covered. 
Once the little egg is completely covered with glitter, I'm gonna stand it in a cup and I'm gonna allow it to dry. So here's this beautiful square vase that I'm going to be using, guys. I picked this up from my thrift store. So this beautiful silver bling wrap that you see me working with here, I picked this up from Timu. So I'm absolutely loving the quality of this and it seems to be exactly the same quality as the ones that I pick up from Amazon. Only thing, the price difference, I picked this up for $4 and the one on Amazon, if I, if I was to purchase this from Amazon, I would pay between $15 and $16. So yeah, and this is working out really, really well. So I'm just going to continue wrapping this around this square base and uh, we're gonna move on to the next step. So I'm going to be taking these silver glitter balls. This is something I had left over from Christmas decoration that I didn't use. So I decided to use it today in this project. I'm going to be using the white glittered eggs from the same um, package that I picked up from my craft store. And I'm just going to create sort of like a springtime Easter look here with this. This is going to be a display. And so I'm going to be using a candle that I picked up from QVC. So this part of the project I'm using as a candle holder. So to create a top for this candle holder, I'm going to be cutting away six sections from this silver bling wrap, and I'm going to hot glue it to the top of the mirror. So once that's done, I'm going to take our silver egg that we created earlier and I'm going to hot glue that into the center of the bling wrap and that's going to serve as our handle for the top. So it's really cute, beautiful Easter egg kind of look. Really, really cute. Okay, so for another look, I decided to pull out the cool white fairy lights. I picked these up from Amazon. I'm going to tape the battery box to the outside. Next, I'm going to put in this beautiful porcelain rabbit that I've had for a while. I think I got this from the thrift store. And it's so cute, guys. It's about three inches long and three inches high. So it really has a nice present. I'm going to sit that inside the vase with the lights. And it's a beautiful springtime Easter look. Guys, I love the way these projects came out today. You let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I want you to stay well, stay safe, and stay blessed. And I will see you at the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.